set, but I promise I'm rapping the O to the dead. Hey, I sold them out of my way. I don't got nothing to say. Now they can't run on my pace. Yeah, they know that we ain't the same. 402, we rap the gang. I told them this ain't a gang. Yo, what is good? It's Finn's Take with CB83. Hey, coming to you on a another a Tuesday night with it, man. What is up with y'all, man? I see Raul's in here. I see Dre's in here. What's cracking, man? Dre, should we keep our foot on our necks? What should we do, bro? Tell me what should we do about this wolf pack? I, I hear a lot of people crying about this wolf pack like i'm not i'm the bad guy now I, i'm the bad guy because i named them the wolf pack and, and now they're, they're mad at me man they're playing victim oh we got people out here calling us the wolf pack and you know we don't we don't do nothing but we just want to see kids shut up man <laughs> come on y'all killing me why is the wolf pack always play the victim i i, I just it just bothers me, man. It just bothers me that every week when Tua plays well, it's like they go to crying. It went, when we had the Baltimore game, the week after, and you can go back and check it, the Wolfpack goes to crying. Oh, we're the victims now. You know, this, this, you, you guys are you guys are picking on us, bro. Come on, man. I, I don't have time for all this sensitive stuff in the Dolphins community. If you're going to dish it out you, as a as a grown man, most of you guys are grown men and grown women. If you're going to dish it out on YouTube, you better be able to take it. And if you can't take it, you're just in the wrong business, right? Um, you're in the, this is a public space where you can get criticized for, you know, anything. You know, a lot of the stuff you say, you can be criticized as a result of it. So if you come out and you talk reckless, right? You come out, you talk reckless, you better believe that people will check you, you know, once they see you're wrong. I mean, that's just, that's life. That's how it is, man. Especially in a public space where you are putting your takes out. Like a lot of y'all don't realize, a lot of this stuff is recorded. All of this stuff is recorded. The, the chat, the videos, you guys put this stuff out in the atmosphere. And then you get mad when people call you out for it. Man, y'all got to grow up, man. Y'all got to grow up. I'm just not from a space where... I don't live in a space where people don't call you out for your bullshit. I just don't live in that space. Yeah, we can't we can't do the woe is me, man. We can't we can't do that. I don't live there, right? If I say something and you're and you feel like it was bad, a bad take, call me out on it. It's fair. I mean, I do the same to you. I may be I may put a little extra on it, do it, put a little razzle, razzle dazzle on that thing, but it, it it's still going it's still going to come out the same way still going to come out the same way man hey shout out to everybody in here we got 10 in the room right now i know everybody's cranking right now so i appreciate y'all coming through um we're going to talk about a few things tonight and it's not going to be too long it's not going to be too long but i'm i'm going to talk about a few different things we're going to get into it um we got Ra my dude raul's in here raul what's good man Hey, these dudes coming at me in my comment section. They talking about uh, the get along, the get along. <laughs> Come on, bro. The, you're, you're dividing the fan base, CB83. You're dividing. Bro, I'm dividing the fan base? Me, little old me with the little 500 subscribers. I'm dividing the fan base. I don't have no impact on this community. I got 500 subscribers, man. Y'all better go talk to the dudes who really – got some reach i don't have any reach you know i might i might have a presence because of some of the stuff i say and how people respect my takes but i don't have enough i don't have enough clout in the in the youtube community to make to divide anything i'm just little old me right i mean i got 500 i just hit 500 i appreciate all y'all but i just hit 500 subscribers like a couple days ago i can't divide no fan base 
how how sway how sway how could i do that how could how could little old me with 500 subscribers divide a fan base because i call a group of tua haters and and negative nancy's and chatty patties the wolf pack that's that's how i'm dividing the fan base come on bro y'all gotta be better man you gotta be better hey here we go andrevia started us off he started us off with it to a play good but it was against the lions do it against a contender numero uno numero uno that's a big one that's a big one they use that one a lot here we go skyler would have played way better he's the best quarterback on the roster the way the way that ball just jumps off of Skyler hands and it just levitates into the receiver's hands. It, it, it's it's a it's a thing of beauty. But I haven't seen it done in the it hasn't been done in the regular season. He's just not capable yet, man. And people were jumping all over me for being like, yo, pump the brakes. He's a rookie. You know, let's in the regular season, things get a lot different. Um and people were like, yo, what? This dude's a physical specimen, man. He's way more talented than Tua. He has a way bigger arm than Tua. He's the ball just jumps off. Bro, where's Skyler at right now? Skyler's holding the clipboard. Like he should be. He's a rookie, seventh round draft pick. People was like, he's a first round talent. He's a first round talent. Bro, where was that first round talent in New York when he had to play? Bro, he, it didn't come out. It, I didn't see it. I, it didn't show up. It was a seventh round talent, just just like we thought it would be. Come on, man, y'all y'all are you making it too easy on me? Making it too easy on me, man. Hey, the Wolf Pack is turning on one another, Dre. I I did see that there was a lot of Wolf Pack on Wolf Pack crime. Um. I saw some guys really getting their feelings hurt uh, on some of these panels this week, man. It's It's been pretty brutal already, man. They are going after each other. It, it's it's interesting. Um, you know, I have fun with it. I, li- I love to see it. I love to see it. And if y'all don't think I'm having fun with this, then y'all are tripping. I enjoy this. This is, this is fun to me. It's football. It's guys, locker room banter. If you can't take it, if you got to take the heat, you got to get out the kitchen, champ. Get out the kitchen. Joseph says, what's up, everyone? Hey, what's up, Joseph, man? We're going to get it cracking soon. We're going we're gonna to start off by talking about a little bit about this trade and what it does for our defense. Let's let's get it going, man. Um, Dre says, Lewis giving Greer credit. He's going to have to go to the front of the congregation of the Wolves and explain themselves. Hmm. I know, boy, because we hear a lot about we hear a lot about Greer and McDaniel and how McDaniel and this offense just hasn't been good enough. Um, they got it done on Sunday, and that's what I people gotta stop making definitive statements without just being patient, man. Be patient a little bit before you get all willy nilly and before you go to declaring that anything is happening. Just take your time before you make these takes because it sounds ridiculous when you come out and say things and then it don't end up happening. Like the Scholar thing was, that just blew my mind. Scholar's better than Tua. Like, huh? Like, what? where do y'all get this? Are y'all listening to the camp reports? The camp reports aren't saying that Scholar's a better player than people just want to run with it because they don't like Tua. And I don't I don't know why people don't like Tua. I mean, we were having this conversation the other day. He's a good kid, humble, only wants to win, only wants to do what's best for the team. How can you not like him? It, I, I don't understand it. And people really are out here just saying, hey, I don't like him. Like, why? Why won't you like him? He's a, he's a good dude. He just want to win football games, bro. Oh, man. Woe is me. I criticize people all day, but if you dare challenge me, I'm a victim. That's it. That's what I've been hearing a, a lot of. I'm a, I'm a victim. But but some of these cats be going super hard in the paint. So they'll go super hard like, yo, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You wrong. You're dead wrong on this. 
But as soon as you give it back to them and they're really and they're wrong and they've been wrong, they double down and they say, well, he doesn't do this right or he hasn't been consistent or just deflecting. And you can ask them a bunch of questions and they'll deflect and deflect and the goalposts will continue to move back and forth, you know, further and further away um, because they just don't want to be like, I'm wrong. And I saw a beautiful thing today. So Nikki Smokes um, was on Stephen D's show today, and he was like, hey, you know, I'm not afraid to say I've been wrong regarding Tua. You know, I'm not afraid to say I've been wrong. I'm happy I'm wrong. Um, and it happens. And that that's how we should be. That's how the Wolf Pack should be. They should be like, yo, at this point, I understand that he needs to be more consistent. He needs to... Um, stay on the field. He needs to stay healthy. But I've been wrong. Like up until this point, I didn't expect this. I didn't. And I've heard the Wolfpack members say, hey, I expected Tua to do this. No, you didn't. You liar. You just said yesterday you expected the defense to carry the offense. So if you expected the defense to carry the offense, that wasn't your expectation for Tua. You didn't expect him to throw 380, three touchdowns zero INTs and have an 80% completion percentage. That's not what you said. That's not how you even came across. And you went to the extent of putting money against the team because you felt he couldn't get it done. And shout out to, um, man, shout out to Pete who actually paid his bet. Uh, I'm still waiting on money from Lewis. I still haven't got my $25 via cash app for Lewis. If y'all see Lewis, tell him, I got an APB out on them. I'm trying to get my money and my $25. Since you bet me, bro, that's the least you could do is pay me. Pete paid his hundred. You know, he paid it right away because he knew I was going to come out of his ass. All right, so he paid his. Um, Thomas says, I'm out the loop. What's a wolf pack? It's Kevin Nash in here. Scoot Hall no longer with us. RIP. Um, yeah, man. Um, wolf pack is... The Wolfpack is a group of guys who, it could be guys and females, whoever, a um, group of people who they they haven't supported Tua from the beginning. They've always said he's not the guy. They wanted Baker. They wanted Watson. They wanted a number of different quarterbacks as a result of them feeling like he, he wasn't good enough to be the quarterback. Now, guys like me who provide context and say, hey, with a better offensive line, with, you know, better wide receiver play, he could be a good player. He could be a good player. Now, does he take us to the Super Bowl or does he turn us into a playoff contender? Did I know that at that point? No, I didn't know that. But I had hope. I had hope and faith that he could. Right. So I I hope so. Right. I hope so. Okay. Okay. Right. So I didn't really I didn't know. I didn't know he was a good quarterback. I just knew from what I saw that I felt like he could be a good quarterback. Right. I knew from looking at the offensive line play and how he didn't have time um, and how he did, he wasn't able, you know, to really evaluate the field like he should have as a result of not having certain time. So I knew that coming in. So I said, hey, you know, with a better offensive line, with, you know, better receivers who can get open and with a better scheme. And that's that's a really big part of it. The Don't es- underestimate the scheme when it comes to quarterback play. Um, I think quarterback play is really a scheme dependent. It just it's just really scheme dependent. So if you have a good offensive coordinator who can put your offense in a position to be successful, most of the times that's what happens. I mean, because he can scheme guys open, he understands the chess match, the run versus, you know, pass balance. There's a lot to it. So I thought with Tua being in a different scheme, in the right scheme, you know, that fits his play type, um, he had the opportunity to be successful. Um, now, there's a lot of people, a lot of people 
who just dogged to in the offseason. He's not good enough. He can't throw deep. He can't read the intermediate. He can't do this. He can't do that. He can't run. He can't slide. He can't throw the ball away. There's a number of different things they said. But right now, he's proven pretty much everybody, you know, not everybody, but he's proven those people wrong, you know, because he has done that. He's He's been really good at at playing the game of football these past, you know, eight weeks or so. Now, he's been injured, which is a concern to me, and that should be a concern to everybody. Um, I want to to play, you know, the length of the season. He's He's got to be a guy who's going to be around because if you aren't around, it's going to be tough for your team to win with you. It really is. It's just going to be tough. Um, So, yeah, that's the Wolfpack. Um, they know who they are. They know who's in there, who's not. Um, and people get a little salty when I add them to the Wolfpack roster, but it happens, and they'll get over it. I mean, it's all funny games. And if you're really, like, salty about it, um, then you should really reconsider, like, what the hell you're doing on YouTube. Because, yeah, I mean, it's not that serious. Um, Low Stall Fanatics Canal, a.k.a. the Dolphin Maniacs. What's good, my man? I think it's my first time seeing you in here. He says, TD is so ridiculous with – his quarterback list ratings rankings. And I I've been on a TD show and we looked at the quarterback list rankings. Um, you know, he said he needed to change it. And we, we really had a good dialogue in reference to, um, in reference to the quarterback list rankings that he had. I, you know, I agreed with some of the things he had, but I also disagreed with a lot of what he had too. And I think um, Tua has surpassed a lot of those guys that were in that, good above average um great elite like he's he's playing better than a lot of those guys so if we see you know to a finish the season and he's still playing well like that man we gotta he's gotta be up there way up there at the top of that list um dre says g corny ass came up with that get along game thing because he was trying to stick up for his wolf pack yeah that's that's g for you man and I, re- I respect everybody in the community. I, I laugh at it. It's funny to me, bro. It really is. It's funny to me. I get a kick out of it. Um, CB, you kicking ass. Keep up the good work. I appreciate it, bro. I'm just doing a little bit at a time. Doing me. Um, we got an announcement coming tomorrow, which is going to be dope for the for the fans, for the community. It's going to be good. Um, so, yeah, man, we're just trying to expand my horizons, do a little bit more. Um, I got a little bit more time now, so we're going to have some fun, man. We're definitely going to have some fun. Um, I don't need to be the biggest and the best Dolphins channel. I'm not trying to compete with nobody. I'm just trying to do me, man. Have fun with it. Talk some Miami Dolphins and, uh, you know, get into it, man. So we got uh, we got 15 in the room right now. Hit the like for me. Um, we're going to get in to talk about this trade. Um, yeah, man. We, I mean, there's so much to get caught up on, really. Um, Dre says getting along is a bad thing. CB apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like we can't, I mean, we can't win for losing, bro. Like it's a lose, lose situation. If you support Tua, you're a tour near, you're too a sexual. Um, if you don't support Tua, you you're in there, you're in their crowd. So they rock with you. And they, they when you come in the chat, they'll salute you. They'll be like, yo, hey, salute. Salute CB83 because you, bro, you you a Tua hater, so I rock, bro. Come on, man. Y'all are you're corny, man. Goofballs, bro. Straight goofies. <laughs> man, we got, we got to put them on goofy time, man. For real. Tua got the Lions coach fired, not any other quarterback. And honestly, they'll say, hey, it's the Lions. Nobody else lit the Lions up like Tua did. Nobody. He had the best game versus them. The best game versus the Lions. And he's played against some good quarterbacks. He's played against Hurts. He's played against um, Kirk Cousins. He's played against Dak Prescott. Uh, who, who have they played? Damn. Let me go look at this. Because they'll say it's the Lions, right? But when I go look at the Lions' schedule, he was playing some pretty good teams, man. And they they were in the game like very close to winning the game. But they will tell you that they trash. Like they can't do nothing, right? I'm like, come on, bro. Y'all got to be – y'all got to provide yourselves with some context. 
So they lost to the Eagles by three points. They beat Washington. So the Lions lost to the Eagles by three points, 38-35. Let's look at Jalen Hurts. I want to look at Hurts um, passing. Look, so Hurts is 18 for 32, 243 yards, zero touchdowns, zero INTs. That's Hurts. They're undefeated right now, right? Um, the Seahawks, or actually the Commanders were next. They beat the Commanders. Um, Carson Wentz, 30 for 46. Damn, he threw the ball a lot, 46 times. 30 for 46, 337 yards, three touchdowns, one INT. Not a better performance than Tua. Tua was, what, 29 to 36, 380, three touchdowns, zero INTs. So still better than Wentz, better than Wentz's performance. Um, let's see the next one. Uh, the Vikings 24, 28 and the Vikings beat them by four points. Uh, Kirk Cousins is 24 of 41, 260 yards, two touchdowns, zero INTs. Still not better than Tua's performance. Still not better. So we go to where we at now. So we got the Vikings. Then we go to the Seahawks. Ooh, what a game. 48-45. Uh, Geno Smith is 23 of 30, 320 yards, two touchdowns, zero INTs. All right, two touchdowns, 320. Tua beat him in all the categories. Efficiency. Yards, touchdowns. Tua should have had four touchdowns, but we didn't challenge it. So that's that's more context, right? Y'all talk about almost interceptions. What about these almost touchdowns, right? Then the Patriots beat them 29-0. to Skunked them. Zappy, 17-21, which is efficient. 186 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Nowhere near as good as what Tua did. Nowhere near as good. And then I think the last game is, what, Dallas? Yeah, so before us is Dallas. Um, you have Dallas winning 24-6. to six. Dak was 19-25, to 25, which is efficient, really efficient. 207 yards, nowhere near 380. One touchdown, zero INTs. So this is the Lions. I understand this is the Lions, right? The Lions is supposed to have a bad defense. They do. They may have a bad defense, but every quarterback that has played them has not played as well as Tua's played. He just has. They just haven't. They haven't played as well as Tua's played. So since that's the case, I mean, we just gotta we gotta appreciate what's going on. We do. We got to appreciate what we're saying, people. Um, Thomas says, wait, wait, wait. Do it against a better opponent. Um, Bills, Ravens, prove what? Right? Like, we've already beat the Bills. Like, we beat the Ravens. Like, y'all forget we've beat I get the best team in the NFL, the Buffalo Bills. The best. You see, I put quotation marks. Because I don't believe they're the best team. I think the Dolphins are the best team in the NFL right now. Until somebody else lines up and beats us. With two at quarterback, I think we're the most formidable team in the NFL. It runs through us moving forward. And I said we can win a division even before the trade. I, I think we can win a division. Um, now, Skyler is in IR. Uh, he said Skyler is in IR because of a broken nail. Now, yeah, he. I mean, he's, he's banged up, man. He ain't on IR, though. He ain't on IR. Ian Baller, what's good, man? I'm so excited. We got Chubb. We can rush the passer. Stop the run. Jeff Wilson is very good in this scheme. Better option than Edmonds. I like it, man. I like it. I thought Edmonds was going to be a really good piece for us. I really did, man. And it's unfortunate that he didn't end up working out. But, hey, I'm I'm loving the fact that the Dolphins saw, you know, they saw it, wouldn't, it wasn't going to work. And they made a move. They did what's best for the team. Now, usually this Miami Dolphins team does not make moves. They're not. They always hang on to players a little bit too long. So I like the fact that they made the move and said, hey, 
Let's go ahead and get off Edmonds because he's not working out for us. Let's give him another opportunity somewhere else. And let's get another guy who can rush this passer, right? Now, the thing I like, about, uh, there's some things I like and dislike about the Chubb move, right? I'm not a big proponent of spending that type of draft capital on rotational pieces, right? So Chubb is a rotational guy. He's going to come in, you know, he's not an every down guy. He can be an every down guy. He can be for sure. But he's not going to play on every down. Um, so edge rushers usually are rotated in as they need to. Uh, it's kind of like a, uh, a platoon type thing. Like they throw them out there in platoons. Some guys are going to be in there for third and short, some for third and long, um, some for second and long, et cetera. So I'm not a big proponent of spending that type of draft capital on an edge rusher, but I understand the need for it. And I rock with the guys who are going to evaluate the team and make these moves. So that's the difference between me too. So I may not like a move, but I'm going to be like, yo, they see these guys every day. They know what the team needs. I'm going to let them make the move. That's like with the Tua situation. They see Tua every day. They understand what we need. They understand what he needs to be successful. I'm going to rock with what they do. I'm not going to disagree with what the front office does. Not at this point with Greer and McDaniel. I think they're a force together and they can make the right decisions. So that's why I rock with it. So um, as a unit, I mean, we don't get pressure organically with our defensive unit. We, in order, and I said this the other night, in order for us to really get pressure on the quarterback, we got to blitz. I mean, that's been the history of the Miami Dolphins um, and this defense. In order to get pressure, you got to blitz. It's got to be cover zero, cover one, and you got to be sending a linebacker or safety or something in order to get the quarterback down to the ground. I do like the fact that Chubb is on the roster now because he has the ability to beat his man one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and I think Ingram has this ability too. I think Ingram's just sometimes in his head. He's sometimes um, getting offside penalties that are just dumb, neutral zone infractions. So I feel like Chubb has the ability to win these one-on-one -on -one battles, and it may make the difference. And that's what I do like about this move is that moves like this will really pay off as the season goes on, especially later in the season, like if we're in the playoffs or something like that, right? I think we'll be there. So moves like this really work out and you see the you see your you know your payback and you did you cash in on your dividends, you know, as you get into the playoffs and you make runs because these guys come up big and big moments where you need them. Like third and long, third and short where you need pressure right away. These guys can get it done. So I love the Bradley the um the Chubb pickup as a result of that, because I know he's going to make plays at some point in the season. He's going to make a play that could be a game swinging play, a sack fumble to the crib, a, a sack fumble. And we, we jump on it, um, an interception in a flat or something like that and take it to the crib. He's just a good football player. And that's what you want to get in these trades, especially when you feel like, you know, you have a shot at it. And this is what I saw today with Greer making that move. I saw, hey, I think we're good enough to win now, right? You have a quarterback who's on a rookie deal. You don't have many quarterbacks playing good football on a rookie deal. So if you do have a quarterback playing good football on a rookie deal, you better find a way to put some pieces around him right away, right away, so you can win. Because once that quarterback gets paid, it gets a lot tougher. It gets a lot tougher. And this is what I didn't understand about guys in the community too, right? Guys in the community used to say, hey, is, if, if you can win on that rookie deal with a quarterback, you're good. Then it changed to, then the tune changed to, hey, I want to go get Watson and spend all this money on a quarterback. It don't matter what else we have. The quarterback could do it by itself. And I'm like, Really? That's that's how y'all gonna switch it up? That's not how you win. Like we we just went through that. We just had, I mean, Dan Marino for years, the, the one of the best 
the one, top five quarterbacks in the league of all time. You're telling me quarterbacks can do it alone after we just saw that wasn't the case? Like, build a team around a player, right? You build a team around a player, you got a perennial playoff contender, right? You look at Tannehill and what Tannehill did. He left and became a perennial playoff contender because he had a run game. He had a defense. Give guys help. You got to have some help, man. You can win with help. You can win with help. Samuel Rosa, what's up, man? What's good? What's good? Shaq fans, what's up with you? Um, says Tua being uh Tua being attacking for his spiritual lead is is a, it's a spiritual battle. Um, yeah, man. I mean, guys, guys are gonna they're gonna pick anything they can about the kid to not like, man. It's Oh, that's that's just the world we live in. And I think some people just dwell on the drama and they they live in the drama of it. I'm just not there. I'd rather just support my guy and rock out. Um, he says two out of twelve games is eleven and eleven, and Tua does nothing but win. He's he's a winner. I'm not gonna give him all the wins, right? I'm gonna say when he is playing, we have an opportunity to win the game. He's never gonna lose us the game. And that's what I do like about Tua. Is he's not gonna he's not gonna lose us the game. There's a lot of guys who could be losing us the game, right? It just could happen. Two is a winner, very true. Um Joe Lee, Miss Fins is in the wolf pack. Don't say that. Hey, she said, hey, she said she doesn't want to be in the wolf pack. So I'm not putting her in the wolf pack. Right. Um, and we had this conversation the other night. If if Miss Fins doesn't want to be in the Wolfpack, she doesn't want to be classified as a first aid of Wolfpack, she is not in there. So she is not in the Wolfpack, Dre. Stop that. Uh, Duke, what's good with you? Shaq Fan says Baker, Watson, Brissett, Skyler, Teddy. Basically any quarterbacks besides Tua. You're right. You're right, man. And that's what it was, man. They wanted everybody except that dude. Remember when they said, I wish him the best, but I don't believe he could do it. Yeah, man, we remember all of this. That's the crazy thing. And we could go back and look at receipts, guys. We could pull up shows from three months ago, and guys are literally on there just dogging to him. I'm talking about he's trash. He's inconsistent. He can't throw the deep ball. He can't connect. He has no touch on the football. He's trash. He can't throw an out route. He can't throw a slant. Bro. Some out, some well, you can hear some of it all. The receipts are out there. If y'all want to go back and check, the receipts are out there, people. Receipts are out there. Um, our D line is a beast of the AFC East. Chubb, Phillips, Agba, Van Ginkle. Yes, I like it, bro. This and this is what we need for guys like Josh Allen. The jo- he, bro, Josh Allen killer. Ingram played a really big factor in that Buffalo game. He did. Josh Allen was just a little shook with Ingram on the field. Now you add Chubb to the other side, and you still got Phillips and Ogba, and you can mix in. You could go Ingram on one side, Ogba on one side, or you can go Ingram and Chubb on one side. Bro, I mean, you got options. You got options. You can really get after that dude. Put Chubb on a spy. Oh my God! Put Chubb on a on a spy on um Josh Allen. Come on, man. Come on. What? He going to get cooked, man. He got cooked. Adrian, you didn't go down like that, huh? He got cooked. (laughs) He going to get cooked. That's what I'm talking about. When you put Chubb on the field with Ingram, Agba, Phillips, you still got Zach Zyler. You still got uh, Raekwon. Raekwon got to get right. You still got Christian Wilkins. Bro, we could really... Really be cooking. Really be cooking. Then the wolf pack, the wolf pack go to high. Oh, okay. <laughs> the wolf pack go to high and quick, boy. Quick. Cause they be talking so reckless. They ain't even in here right now. They I know they they probably in here, they in the back hiding, you know. They don't want me to. They don't want me to get up here and hurt their feelings. You know they hate that. They hate when I call them out on the BS, bro. They hate it. They hate it. You gotta love it though, man. Um, yeah. So the trade. Oh, so let's get to the offense side of the ball in reference to the trade. Jeff Wilson Jr. I like him. I like him a lot, man. 
and I think he's going to be a good complimenting back to uh, to Mostert. Mostert's been solid thus far. He's been solid. So Jeff Wilson Jr. brings another explosive punch to the offense. Like, I think Edmonds' hips were just a little bad for that zone, the zone read, in the, in the, in the zone scheme. It's just a little too stiff. Like, he couldn't – he was just – he would get outside and he would try to hit the hole and he couldn't really see the cutback lanes. So I think Mike McDaniels just realized that, Hey, he's just not a good fit for his own scheme. Um, and I thought he would be, I mean, I, he played well in Arizona, but I don't think they ran a lot of zone scheme in Arizona. It was more gap scheme. I mean, and I think that's what fits him best is that gap scheme. Cause he's just like a, he's almost like a power back um, explosive, but he's got to have he's got to have a straight line. He's not doing a little bit of dance. He's not doing no cut like no cut back off center. So it's it's tough, man. But I like Jeff Wilson Jr. He brings another explosive punch to our offense. Um, what I don't want to see is these guys get hurt, man. I need these guys around for the for the long haul. So I need these guys playing late in the season. So for sure, I need these guys healthy. Um, yeah, and man, all right, they the the slow blinker narrative. They said to a they say to a slow. They said he was gay. They said he was retarded. Bro, they said all type of stuff about to us. It's like, man, y'all y'all gotta get y'all need some something to do. Y'all need y'all need another hobby because y'all you got too much time on your hands if you coming up with all these narratives about a kid, man. Hey, smash the like. Appreciate you, JR Black, man. CB3, hey, 83 giving receipts to shut down the haters. Get at them, fam. You know. I mean, and people don't like when I do this, man. They don't like when I be getting at people. Some people don't like it. Some people don't. It's all good. I'm going to just be me, man. Um, I can't be nobody else. Uh, but if you if you talking reckless, bro, expect it to come back. It's got to come back to you somehow. Some of y'all be scared to give it back to them. I'm not afraid because these guys don't bother me. I mean, it just is what it is. Uh, play Tyndall. I'm with that, Duke. Play Tyndall more. I I want to see Tyndall getting some meaningful reps later in the season, man. I want to see him in the game. more. I don't know if he's hurt right now or banged up or just, you know, not fi- seeing the field well enough or what. But I want to see the dude get some, get some love on the reps, man. Need some reps, bro. Get him some reps. Jerome Baker ain't that good to where you don't have to play Tyndall. Get a man some reps. I mean, Jerome Baker, he he at least, Tyndall can at least do what Jerome Baker doing to chase down some people. Come on, man. He faster than Jerome Baker, too. And after I seen Jerome Baker play that damn um, little end cut on the, on the running back where Swift got the touchdown, Golf threw it right to him, and Jerome Baker's just like, oh, my God. It's lost. Look like a lost puppy, man. Got to play Tyndall more, man. Um, Chubb, in my humble opinion, is a hammer that will crush every team they play. Uh, playing defensible calls of the variables he will bring to the chessboard. He's a uh, he's a solid piece, man. He's a solid piece. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing him play, man. Like, this defense has got to be better. I mean, that's and let's talk about these defensive struggles early in the game. We were lost defensively. And this is what I don't like about our defense is that sometimes we go out there. We just really do look lost. Like it almost looks like the play calling and guys are just out of position. And it's like, man, we got to figure out a way to be locked in as soon as the game kicks off. Like we can't afford to give up huge plays and be down 14-0. We got to find a way. And that's partly the offensive fault. We had a rookie in there, Braylon Sanders. I like Braylon Sanders. He's an Ole Miss guy. He actually played with my cousin. Um, so my cousin, Elijah, Elijah Moore, who plays for the Jets, he's going through some stuff right now with the Jets. But um, he actually played with Braylon Sanders at Ole Miss. And he said Braylon Sanders is a dog. He's a really good football player. And that's why you saw him playing on Sunday, because he's a really good football player. Guys, I hear guys on the stream. Why is why is Brandon Sanders getting reps? Why is he in over River Craycraft? Because he's better than River Craycraft, obviously. Come on, man. Like, like 
y'all y'all gotta yeah y'all gotta look at the football man when you go back and look at camp and you look at some of the film from camp and the coverage from camp Braylon sanders was that dude in camp he was one of the bright spots right a real big bright spot i did a stream on him myself and talked about him because he was balling in camp and i went to my cousin and i was like yo how is he yo what's what's so good he my cousin like he's a dog he gets after it. He's always going to have a good attitude. He works. He's a really good football player. He fumbled in the game, and he came back and made some plays. I think he learned from that, and that's it's, an, it's a really good learning experience. Hey, you see what not holding the football could get us. It could get us in a hole. So I think he understands now what he needs to do moving forward, man, and that's, that's what it's about, man. That's what it's about. Um. So, yeah, man. So, the offense, I think the offense really took off, man. Tyreek had a fantastic game. Um, Waddle had a good game. These dudes are playing really good football right now. We just need them continue to continue rolling. They got to continue rolling, right? Um, continue doing their thing, man. Continue, they got to continue doing it. I want to pull up. I'm just going to pull up a little bit of the game. Hopefully, it doesn't. this don't shut me down. Um, let me do this real quick. So, looking at this, actually, and I'm gonna try to stop it every few seconds or so because YouTube will get me. So, we're just gonna go, I'm gonna just look at a couple plays. Sack. Right, so this is a sack right here, and this is actually I think this is every every drop back. This is from Josh House. Josh House is my dude too. Um, I've actually hit him up a couple times, and he was like, "Yo, use it, use it, whatever you want to do, use it." Um, so this is a sack, and I'm gonna pause it every few seconds or so because YouTube will get me right. So here's another one. Um, look, we got. Uh, 14 in motion. We got Sherfield in motion right now. Uh, coming across the formation. Quick out. Quick out to, that's probably tight end or somebody in the flats. But Tua is getting the ball out quick. That's what I do like about Tua and what he's doing right now. He's getting the ball out really quickly, right? He's doing what he's supposed to do in regards to that. Um, Right, so here we go. This is the next play. We got trips right, right? Trips right. We got another wide receiver down here on the bottom. Um, one running back, all receivers, no tight end. It's just a quick comeback route. Um, and this is like a, actually a screen, like a tunnel screen. So these guys are just, they running out there knowing they got a block. Tyreek knows he's coming back to the football right away. And then O linemen should be running the alley like they're doing right here. So you see the O lineman running the alley, trying to get a trying to get a got a block. And that's actually a pretty good play. I like the play. I was worried about Tyreek's helmet getting popped off. I thought they tried to hit my dog in the head or something. There is here's another drop back from Tua, right? So this is kind of the same formation we just saw. Um but this is to the left side. So you got trips kind of down here on the bottom. Tyreek up top by himself. Safety over the top, bracketing. You know, that's a little double team action. And they got another guy over here for these three. And this is what I like about um, McDaniel. He was letting them deal, man. I mean, you get into formations like this, you know it's a passing formation. You know, you got four wide receivers on the field, one running back five offensive linemen. Um, when you look at the box, four down linemen, one middle linebacker, these guys are, this guy is a covering, right? So you, we know exactly what we got in the box. We got four down and we got Mike, right? Running back could either be taking the mic or he, he could be just scanning and taking something off the edge too. So you got a couple different options. Protection's good. I mean, this guy's running way outside. Shell is trying to get out there. Protection solid, though. Ball's coming out right now. 
Look at this guy right here coming open. These guys down here running the routes. Great ball. Only to where he could get it. It's a fantastic ball. I mean, you can't, it don't get any better than that. Um, that's what you want to see. That's on uh what down is that? Maybe was that that wasn't fourth down, was it? That was fourth down. Yeah, that was a fourth down play. Um, so that was on fourth down where we had to go for it. Um, he hit Jalen Water for the first down. You got Jaseki coming across the formation. Guys in tight. Uh, this guy's out a little wider. Run, running back. No tight end. We're using the uh, Jaseki's out as a pass catcher. There you go. Ah, good ball, good ball. And what that fake does, it just holds the guy a little bit. You know, so it just holds holds these linebackers. And it gives our guy here an opportunity to get into that hole. Who is that, Waddle? Bam. Oh, that's not. That's Braylon Sanders, isn't it? Bam. Fumble. Yep, that's it. And this was actually a really good play, man. Good route. Good catch. You just got to hold on to the ball, my guy. Just got to hold on to the ball. That's it. Um, Are you guys still seeing the stream? I mean, are we still good on the... uh, on the stream, tell me um, if we're still good. Give me the thumbs up in the chat. Give me the thumbs up um, if we're still good. I know YouTube will cut me off sometimes if I'm doing this. That's why I'm stopping it every six seconds. Uh, give me the thumbs up if we're good. I got no thumbs up so far. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Are we still good? We're good. All right, solid. We're going to go back to it. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, Shake. Appreciate that, Duke. All right. Um, now, getting back to this. All right. So, that was a fumble, right? I'm pausing it again. I got to pause it every few seconds, right? So, here we go. Here we have uh, five offensive linemen, one running back. Four wide receivers, same thing. And Mac McDaniels ran this formation a lot. You know, usually last game, tight end was in line a lot, right? Tight end has been in line a lot, a lot this season. Um, now he's starting to use Jaseki out wide because he probably feels like, hey, this guy's more of a threat outside. Let me stop forcing a square peg into a round hole and just get his ass outside because he can't block. So, Maybe that's what he's doing, and he's just figuring out the hard way that, you know, he's not going to be able to force guys to block. He's just going to have to, like, adapt to what he's what he's got. If he's got a tight end that can't block, then you can't use him like that. Oh, and this was a good ball. Good ball, good route. Good ball, good route. And this is what Tyreek can do. Um, he's just so fast, man. Guys are so afraid of getting beat deep that – He's just able to round this off. He's so fast. He can round off routes, and it still be wide-ass open. Um, and this is a good fake. Bam. Holds the linebackers a little bit. Fits it in the hole right there. That's that's good. That's as good as it gets, man. That's solid. Really solid. Now, here comes, here comes the ad. All right, back to it. Uh, we still good on the stream? We still good? Okay, yeah. Hey, Shake, definitely message me if it drops, bro, because I'm actually – I keep coming back to this, but do that. Message me if it drops because I have my phone right here. That works. Um, appreciate that, Shake. Um, so now we're looking at – um, this is the same play. It looks like because Tyreek's kind of in that same formation. Yep, fake there. Offensive line blocking was good, man. That's enough time. Um, Tyreek catches it, gets out of bounds. Here we go. So we're looking at this. We have a uh, – so we kind of got like our tight end and like an H-backer. This may be in goal right here, like an H-back formation. Um, or this is actually going to go down here. Bam. So this must be a tight end. That's a big dude. 
Um, Tyreek's here, Waddle's here, running back's here, right? Goes across the formation. Oh, play action's coming. So this is what you're looking at here. You're looking at um, play action to the to the running back. You're looking at the tight end come across the formation down here. Tyreek's probably going to come across the formation here. He's either running a clear out or he's running like a comeback type route. And you look at Ingle here. This could be a wrinkle they throw in later in the season where Ingle is like running a wheel route, and that could be a touchdown. So check this out. Bam, look. And that's exactly what we got. We got Jaseki as a tight end in the flat. We got Tyreek in another window here. Tyreek's open, too. That's the beauty of this play. Tyreek's open right now. Ingle's got somebody covering him, uh, which is solid. That's good defense. He's man-to-man. Um so he's getting it to Jaseki right away. Give him the ball. Let him get a few. It's a good play. I like it. It's a good play. I like those plays where you play action and you come across the formation. It's just really hard for defenses to defend that shit. It really is. When you're going one way and then you have to turn around and spread the other way, tough to do, guys. Tough to do. Um, there's not a lot of guys in it. Oh, well, everybody's athletic. But stopping on a dime like that and then having a sprint the other way, it's going to slow you down for sure. That's why they be having us doing all them damn gassers and all them damn suicides and stuff when we're running because it's like you stop and start so much. So um, that's why they have us doing a lot of back and forth stuff when we're when we were doing, you know, conditioning, a lot of that stuff. So same thing up here as we saw earlier, um, like a trip's right. Jaseki down here in the bottom, one running back. Uh, quick. And this was the one that almost got picked. Um, and honestly, I think this is going to be close because I think Tua was kind of putting the ball in the right spot. He's thinking Jaseki is going to bend it into this hole and come back across the safety's face, right? Or whoever's here, whoever this corner is. So he's thinking... Oh, yeah, he's going to go out, work outside, go around him, and then come inside and try to split these guys, right? So Jaseki is thinking, uh, I'm going around, getting my head around, but the ball is a little bit too far inside at this point, right? He expected Jaseki to maybe come a little bit more inside. He put a little bit too high to the inside, Um when you put it out, and I know he's trying to really fit it in a hole, and he thinks Jaseki can go up and make this grab because he's a he's a tall guy. He makes these type of catches. Um, and so he really tried to put it where nobody else could get it but Jaseki. Um, and this is not really leaving your receiver out to dry because he's defenseless. So if he gets hit right here, then this is going to be a penalty. You know, if he's a defenseless receiver, they got to let him come to the ground and stuff like that uh, for the most part. So he's thinking, hey, get it up there where only he could get it. And it puts a little bit too high. Jasicki tips the ball and it almost get picked, almost gets picked. Right. Um, So it's a little bit too high there. I saw that one, you know, live. All right. Here we go here. Um, it's formation. Ooh, so we got this is five wide. This looks like just maybe it's just Seki right here. So five wide, no running back. This is a this is a almost like a tight end type, but we got five down linemen, two uh, and five receivers. Oh, all right. So this is a um, max protect. So tight end stays in the max protect. Man, we got guys open right now. Look how far Detroit is playing off. They don't want to get beat. And this is what happened when you have Tyreek and Waddle. They just don't want to get beat. They are scared. That's probably why the DB coach got fired. <laughs> Cause they just are scared. Shout out to shout out to Josh House for this film. This is perfect, bro. I appreciate this. Um and he said I could use this. It's dope. Um so look, underneath, bam. Oh. And this is look, this is um this is Tua under pressure, right? He's got a guy coming in his face. But I'd like to see Tua just stand and deliver that. You got to put it out there. And 
this is really good anticipation by Tua um, because really when you look at it, when you look at this, right, he's let it go now. He's let the ball go now. He's thrown off his back foot, which I don't like. That's why that power isn't there. He's got a guy underneath that's wide open. He's got a waddle underneath that's wide open. But he knows he wants to take the shot here. He knows, hey, Tyreek can split these guys and go to the house. He knows that. They're just too fast. They're flat-footed. They're scared, right? Um, what I like to see is stop aiming the ball to him. This is my thing with Tua. Stop aiming it, bro. Just let it rip. That ball should be damn near on the 35, 30 yard line. If you just snap it, take your step, and let it go, it's a touchdown, right? Tyreek has to come back to the ball. Stop. He stops at the 30, right? So this ball could have been at the 20. Literally, he could have. That's a long throw now. Don't get it twisted. That's a big boy throw. It's a big boy throw. So that's a throw from the 35 to the 20. That's a big boy throw. That's one you just let go. Yeah, And you pray he runs under it. But if he doesn't run under it, nobody else is there because the DBs can't get there. So that's what you do on a play like that. You just let it rip. Stop aiming it, throw it to the goal line, and just hope he could pray it. He could he could run under it because that's what happens, bro. And that's what Tyreek does. So you got to let that one go. Let that one rip a little bit more. Even with the guy in your face, you know he's coming. You know he's bearing down. Let it rip. Let it go. Throw it. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a good play. You got to let it go though. I don't care. I haven't seen him overthrow Tyreek yet. That's what I want to see. I want to see to overthrow him. If you're overthrowing Tyreek, then I could I could live with that. But if you're underthrowing him, it means you're not giving it enough. Let it go. Let it go. And I'm sure that's what Mike McDaniels is saying in the film. Like, I want to see you overthrow him one time. We haven't seen it yet. Overthrow him. I want to see your arm loose. Let it go. Let it go. That could be the difference in a touchdown or not a touchdown. And that's that's something you gotta that's something you gotta consider. That could be a touchdown play. I'd much rather get the touchdown now than have to go another five plays and get it. Because there's no guarantee with all the penalties and stuff we get that we're gonna get that. So we gotta do that. We gotta try to get that touchdown. Great, great catch by Tyreek. Worth every penny of that 30 mil, every penny. And some more, probably. And he look, the dude's in his face right away. But you still gotta hey, let it go, bang, let it go. And he, this is, I think this is just bad posture too. Like he looks like he's throwing off his back foot. It looks like he's he's leaning backwards almost, bro. You gotta you gotta really step into that throw to him. That's not good posture for a, a throw you're trying to let rip down the field. Good catch, great catch. That dude is the. The best in the league. The best. All right, here we go. So all right, so we got, and this is that same formation. We got the tight end in tight. Last time he was here, he max protect, just like he did. You got Tyreek here, Sherfield, and this is Waddle. Here we go. Coming across the formation. Bang. They got Waddle. Waddle's in the hole right now. That's where two is going to. Look at that. Bang. What a throw. What a catch, too. This was a tough catch by Waddle. Waddle had to turn back around. But this is a great throw. And this is to a putting it where only Waddle can catch it. Only where he can catch it. Because if he puts it any more inside, it's a pick. It's a pick. So he knows, hey, bam, that guy's there. I got to put it right there away from that defender. Great catch. Great catch. Great play. Them dudes are just on the same page right now. That's what I do like about this shit. They're on the same page. Look at that. Look at the defender. Gotcha, man. On the ground, bro. He's like, damn. Really? It's like, I ain't get that. 
All right, this is the one Waddle misses. Yeah, he dropped that on purpose. I would have dropped that on purpose too. Ain't no need, ain't no reason to catch that. You behind the line of scrimmage too? Nah, bro. That's a fumble. Yeah, you dropped that one. Smart play. All right, here we go. Uh, we got like it's like a trips formation up top. These guys are out wide, and Mike McDaniel's rarely does this. Like puts his guys out wide like this. Um, we got two guys inside, running back, five linemen. Everybody dropping, rushing three. Just nothing, nothing open. Uh, who was what was number ten doing? What's what's Tyreek doing? Just standing there. Oh, yeah, he's just kind of standing in the flat. I would have threw that mug to Tyreek. Throw it to Tyreek right here. One-on-one -on -one with this guy and this guy and this guy. Oh, man, that, that might be a touchdown right there. You give it to Tyreek and just let him shaky shake. I seen him do some crazy stuff in training camp, bro. Some crazy stuff. So you got to get at the Tyreek right there. Get at to him. Uh, there we go. So. Next play. All right, here we go. Tr uh, bunch right. Bunch right. Got a back here. Receiver here. This is Sherfield. There we go. What we got? Uh, it's a nice little route combination. Inside, outside. Guy in the middle. Let's see what we do. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got to love it. Wide open. Got to love it. Uh, great ball. Great ball. Great play. I love the play call. Love it. Yo, Tua was on the money. He was on the money, yo. Look and watch it. Oh, man. Look, at, look how effortless that was. Great ball. Great catch. Touchdown. Waddle, 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 waddle. There we go. Uh, two receivers here. We got a tight end in line. Two backs in goal and probably most of it. Uh, play action. Uh, uh, step up. Uh, let it rip. Uh, good catch. Ah, now this one too, man. Toy, you gotta let that bit rip now. Uh, step up. Uh, throw it there. Throw it to the goal line. Throw it to the goal line. The pylon. Throw it over there. Throw it far to a. Let it rip. Throw it across the field. There's no way this defender's going to get there because he's looking at this guy. Tyree's got his guy way over here. Throw it over here in this space here. Oh, my gosh. That's a touchdown. Let it rip. Throw it here. Throw it back here. Look at this. All that grass there. All that green turf. Oh, my gosh. That, and this is this is stuff to has got to improve on. I mean, I understand, but these are throws that are touchdown throws, bro. You let that joint go, and I understand he's getting used to throwing to Tyreek. Even Mahomes underthrew that man a lot, a lot. Shake, no text from you, so I'm assuming we still good, Shake. Um, so yeah, he threw that he threw that joint a lot. But that's a great catch by Tyreek coming back to the football. This is what I want to see, though. Look at it. Good blocking by run. Run. They're showing run, showing run, showing run. And this is what they do with the offensive linemen. They're just running. You know, they they can't go up the field. So they're just running like they're like it's a run play. Bam. They think it's a run. Look at these guys moving, moving, moving. You're moving the linebackers. Good block by Ingo. He comes back to get him. Let it rip. Hey, don't throw it there. Throw it back there. Throw it to the left. You throw it to the left. It seemed like he put his all into that joint, too. 
Les was crazy about it. Um, if he throws that joint to the left and really lets it rip, bro, that's a touchdown. That ball hung up there for a little bit. Tyreek's so good. Damn, he's good. She. Uh, a little underneath. All right. Good cut up, Houts. Good cut up, man. I like this. Here we go. Trips left. Jaseki at the bottom. In goal at the running back. Uh, one, two, three, four, five coming. We got five down linemen, and we got a back back end blocking, so we got six blocking. Five. Tutty. Tutty. This was, the, I, this was a beautiful throw. Um, and this is what I was waiting on. The minis will route concepts. My goodness, you got to love these shits right here, bro. These rubs and stuff. Uh, just run them off. Look at it. He's dead in the water already. Look, he's dead in the water already. The safety thinking Tyreek. He like, man, Tyreek coming my way. I'm out of here. I'm going wherever he go. Look, he followed him too. Underneath. Look at, bro, you dead. You dead in the water, bro. He followed this guy followed Tyreek. They like, man, I ain't letting Tyreek get off. Okay. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, 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 waddle. Come on, give me the waddle, man. Give me the waddle. <laughs> what a ball. What a ball. What a ball. It's a track meet at that point. Off to the races. We off to the races. It's a good ball. Good ball. Good touch. Good catch. It's a tutty. Look at this play action. Uh, look at that run. They think it run, man. Everybody think it run. That's a good run blocking. See, this is what we didn't do last year, too. Like, we didn't get creative with our pass blocking at all, bro. We just sat there and took it. Five guys just sitting there and taking it every play. No creativeness. No run sprint action. No nothing. That's the difference between a good scheme and a bad scheme. The creativity of it. Bam, play action. Uh, oh my gosh. You got a couple guys open here. Look at look at the spacing. Spacing is almost perfect. Look at these dudes, yo. They're in line with one another. They're right where they need to be. Look at that. That's good football. And these guys are they're they're overrunning the play. So it's just easy. It's just easy. Tua taking what the defense gives him. And this, oh, uh, that's a different play. All right, here we go. So, uh, and I'm going to go for a little bit more. How long have I been going? Y'all good? Should I keep going or y'all good? Should I keep going? This is fun. I like breaking this stuff down, man. Um, Love breaking it down. All right, so I'm going to continue on. I'm going to go for like probably another 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, all right, here we go. Um, so we got two wide receivers, three wide receivers, tight end, running back, tight ends blocking. It's going backwards. All righty. Uh, man, Tua putting that ball on the money. Hey, he was in a groove on Sunday. In a groove. Waiting for him. Bam. Away from the defender, too. Away from the defender. You got to love it. First down. Good protection. Protection. He's clean. He's clean. Tua's able to get that ball off. This is what I'm talking about. When you got an offensive line. You can read the field. You can read the intermediate levels like you guys complained about. You can read it. When you got protection, you can read it. Oh, let it go. Uh, well, let's go back. Here we go. We got, uh, here we go. So blocking here, three receivers, one running back. Let's it go. 
Oh my gosh. I thought he had him on this one too. He's just got to put it out there a little bit more, yo. He puts it out there a little bit more. These dudes run into themselves and Tyreek's going to the end zone. All right. I'm pausing it so much because I don't want to get hit. It's a great ball. Seward just reading his own, man. Just knowing where guys are supposed to be and just putting the ball where they're. This is a great catch, too. Acrobatic behind him, gets the ball, gets down to the ground. Great catch by Waddle. Waddle was on point. Look at that. Look at a catch, man. You got to respect that. Dude was a monster. Monster, man. Monster. I got the ad in here. All right, here we go. Coming back to it. Protection's great. Another one. Kind of the same play almost. Similar. That's Tyreek this time. That middle of the field, man. You know how many times we didn't use the middle of the field last year? I used to be like, yo, just throw it to the middle of the field. Find somebody who could get in the middle of the field. We used to throw the ball on the outside every time. Nothing across the middle, nothing intermediate across the middle. We never did it. Nobody was even there to throw it. The only time we threw it there was when Jaseki was there a couple times. But, man, we used in the middle of the field now. The best offensive coordinators use the entire field. Middle, outside, edges. Down the field, intermediate, short, flats, everything. That's the best OCs. They use the entire field, man. Mike McDaniels is dialed in right now. This is when play callers get in the zone and they just can't be stopped. It's a penalty on this one. Uh, Play action. Sack. Oh, he got it off. Uh, I thought Jaseki was open right here, too. Jaseki was definitely open. So he's looking, looking, looking. Bam. Uh, that guy's kind of coming over to Jaseki. This guy's open, too. He's like, shit, I can get this shit to Tyreek. Quick! They're playing way far off. And this is when you know these guys are dialed in. They they know each other. They're communicating. Hey, they're playing way too far off. Bro, just give it to me quick and let me do my thing. Give it to him quick. Bam. Quick seven or eight yards to make up for the penalty. Here we go. So play action again. And we usually come back across the formation when this is the case. We usually come down here, and then we bring one here. Let's see what we do this time. Are we coming to back cross? Yep. So we're coming. We just come back out. Waddle's open right now. But he waits. Oh, man. What a beauty. See, this is, this is just to a letting a play develop and just saying, hey, and I've seen a lot of times where Tua would not do this. I've seen a lot of plays where he wouldn't do it. He's just growing up overnight. Look, he would usually take this right here right now, right? But now he's starting to realize, hey, I could be patient. I don't have to take the first thing I see. Let's see if Jaseki's open and I can come back to Waddle. So he knows Waddle is open. He feels Waddle open, but he's like, damn, Jaseki's going to come on, but let me throw him to a spot. Bam, throw him to a spot. Everybody's happy. Happy. Everybody's eating. Look at that. Look at his eyes. He knows. Look, he's outside right now looking at Waddle. He knows he's open. He's like, damn, let me be patient. Wait. Bam. There he is. Open. Come on, man. How you? How you? This dude's good. I don't care what defense that is. They're going to have a hard time defending that shit. That's just the reality of it, guys. Any defense is going to have a hard time defending it. Because we're fast and our dudes can catch. Play action. Let it rip. Middle of the field. Damn it, this dude. Good. Play action. Look at that. Look, look at the route. Look at the route. Look at the route. Who's going to stop this? What cornerback is going to play up tight on Tyreek and get want to get beat? He's just going to stop. And he's going to catch the ball. This is the same thing he did in Kansas City. He's just much more efficient here because I think Mike's a better play caller, bro. Mike's just 
He's dialing. He's dialing it up right now. Everybody where they need to be. Good play. Play action. Bam. There he is. Tyreek's there. He knows Tyreek is there now. He's waiting. Gives it back to Tyreek. Let's him do his thing. Let's him do his thing. Play action. Bam. Oh, same play. Takes off. That's what he has to do. If he don't see it there, open. They play it tight that time. Take off and run. Slide. Here we go. Uh, this is the last drive I'm going to do, and then I'm out. We're going to get out of here. Um, receiver up top, Waddle in the backfield, two wide receivers down below, tight end here. It's basically five wide. Sasaki running the route. Sherfield comes across. Bam. Touchdown. So a touchdown, too. They should have gave my dog a touchdown, man. I need a Sherfield to get that tutty. Made a Sheffield to get that tutty. They so worried about Tyreek. Mike Redane knows, hey, bring somebody underneath it. It's just going to give us an opportunity to get in there. Uh, great play call. Great play. I like it. It's a touchdown, but they didn't give it to us. Ah, uh, great play by Sheffield. That dude's a stud, too. Dude's a stud. All right, man. Hey. Y'all see me, man, breaking it down. Hey, that was the fourth touchdown. You damn right it was, man. Dudes can play, man. Them dudes can play. I'm excited about the state of the Dolphins. I hope you are too. Um, man, Tua just needs to continue to get better. Start hitting on those deep shots. Overthrow Tyreek a couple of times, bro. Get to the point where you're overthrowing them. Then you'll be able to dial it back in. But you got to get to the point where you're overthrowing them first. Let it go. Oh, I want to see you overthrow them one time. I got to see it. Overthrow them. And I, I appreciate y'all coming out. Um, Got a chance to watch some film. Got a chance to talk about the trade acquisitions. What didn't we talk about? Let's look at my notes real quick and see what we didn't talk about. So we talked about trades. We talked about offense. We talked about defensive struggles. Um. The defense is they got they got to find a way to just be consistent. I've liked they've played pretty good so far. I'm not gonna shit on the defense because I know they're missing guys. They're banged up, right? Um, that's gonna happen. But they got to find a way to be dialed in early, not give up big plays. Um, Chubb is gonna help this defense a lot. He's gonna help, man. Now, the penalties are out of control. That's something we didn't address the show. Penalties are out of control. I honestly think the NFL is on our ass right now because it is to a situation, because it is concussion protocols and stuff like that. I think they're trying to make it hard on us. And what I see is I see a lot of the, first, a lot of the penalties coming in the first half. It's like, we're going to make it difficult on you. Penalties come in the first half. And then we're trying to dig our way out. And then after, once the second half comes, the penalties kind of slow down. So, and this is what I learned what referees do. Um, referees will kind of give you, they kind of give a team the advantage in a half. And then in the second half, they give the other team the advantage, right? So what I see from the referees and us, I see the first half, they give it to us. They stick it to us and they say, hey, we're going to make it difficult on you. You're going to have to dig yourself out of this. And then they say in the second half, hey, they deserved it. They're playing well. The the flag stop. They slow down a little bit. Um, now, if you're blatant with it, you're going to get the flag. Christian Wilkins lining up in the neutral zone, bro, you're going to get the flag. Can you just make sure you're lined up behind the line of scrimmage, bro? That's that's like Pee Wee League football, dude. Pop Warner. Mighty Mites. Just line up behind the football. And I'm glad Mike McDaniel showed a little care, a little passion, and was like, yo, get this shit together. Because uh, that's what we need, man. We need everybody holding everybody accountable. 
whether it's coaches, whether it's players, um, players policing themselves, coaches policing the players, coaches policing themselves, the front office policing the front office. That's what we need. We need an iron sharpens an iron uh, organization. That's what we need. That's the only way we're going to get to the point where we're really winning and being consistent is where we have that iron sharpens iron mentality. Um, so I think the penalties will get cleaned up. I think the NFL will back off us a little bit. Um, I think the NFL, in the end, they want us to be winners. I think Tua is primed to be one of the faces of the league. Um, if he takes off and becomes a player, we think he can be. I think he's primed to be that. Um, the league should want Miami to be a winner. Miami's a great city. Uh, it's a great market. It's a melting pot. It's a bunch of different cultures and races uh, coming together uh, to be passionate about the sport of football. So I think it's only a matter of time. We're making the right moves. We support our quarterback. We have a great scheme in place offensively. Defensively, we have a good scheme in place. We just need some more pieces, and we got them. We got them. I think Chubb is a, a really good addition. Um, and maybe they move around, move him around and just let him do his thing. I think that's going to be like a key component of it too, bro. Just let him go out and play. Play him like Mark, like, like they play Micah Parsons. Let that dude do whatever he want to do. If he want to get after the quarterback and spy the quarterback, let him do it. If he want to rush the passer, let him do it. If he want to blitz, let him do it. If he want to play in coverage, let him do it. If he want to cover the tight end, let him do it. If he want to go to the bathroom in the middle of the game, let him do it. Just let that dude do whatever he wants to do. Let him play. Let him, let him, let him roam around. Let him do his thing. And that's what you do with great players. You let them rock. Let them rock and roll, man. You let them rock and roll. So, hey, I appreciate y'all coming through, man. Hit the like on your way out. If you enjoyed the show, throw a thumbs up in the chat. It was a quick one, hour and a half, I know. Um, but it was cool, man. I got to talk some fins. I didn't drop the link, but got to talk some fins. Got to watch a little film. Um, and you guys get to see, you know, what I like about Tua and how he's growing. He's the kid is growing up before our eyes. Let's appreciate this run. Let's uh let's enjoy it, man. Whether it's I mean, whether we got the wolf pack or not, I mean, let's enjoy it. The the QB one loyalists, the real dolphin fans, they know, hey, in order for us to win. QB one's got to be playing good. He's got to be on the field. He's got to be that dude. We need him to be that dude. If he's that dude, we could go really far. I want to throw a Super Bowl party. I want to throw the biggest Super Bowl party ever. So I'm hoping this dude goes out and balls. I think we have a really special team. And when you look at Mike McDaniels after these games in the locker room, I think he realizes it too. Like we have something special. Like we're finding a way to win very, very close games. If we can continue to 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 win these very close games and then add on top of that a couple of blowouts, a few blowouts here and there, where we could blow a team out and and hold a team to below 10 points on defense. Um that's like a recipe for success because you're winning the close games. Last year, this team would have lost the close games. That's what we did last year. We found a way to lose the close games. Jacksonville, Atlanta, Indianapolis, Las Vegas. Like those are all three point games, one score games that we lost last year that we couldn't win. We couldn't finish. We couldn't get it done in the end. Now we're finding a way to win those games. Um, it's going to come down to us and the Buffalo Bills as the division winners and who gets the one seed. It's going to come down to us. I'm telling you that right now. I got us. I like us going into Buffalo. 
I like us going into Buffalo. I I love it. I'm taking us in the snow or whatever it is. Let's get it. Line it up. And you only as good as your last game. And I think we could get it done. We could get it done. This is the team right here. This team is special. Hey, I appreciate you guys coming out tonight. It's Finn's Take with CB83 out for another show. Hey, I'll be back probably Thursday or Friday night with another show. Uh, we're going to open up the panel. Have a good time, man. Wolfpack, you're welcome. You're welcome. You know, come through. Come holler at your boy, man. Y'all ain't got to hide in the background. Don't homer soon. Oh, okay. Hey, and I told y'all, I said, hey, on Friday, I said, y'all going to see the glow. And you saw it. You saw Tua Leroy on Sunday. You saw it, man. Let me go, let me go. Yo, what's good? Everybody rolling up in here now. What's up with y'all boys, man? I just got done bringing out some film. You know, a little sign, sign. What's up, Uso? What's good? Raul, what's good? Hey, Tyreek is different speed, bro. Speed on a thousand, bro. Speed on a thousand, man. Hey, but I really appreciate y'all coming through. It was a great show. Hour and a half. Um, just kind of chopping it up. Hey, if you didn't catch it, be sure to go back and watch it, man. We went over some film, watched to a little bit. It was a good show, man. I enjoyed this. Um, we'll have you guys on Friday, probably Thursday or Friday. Talk some more Dolphins, man. Get ready for this game. I'm looking forward to it, man. Hey, fins up. Appreciate you guys. Hey, see ya. Out this joint. Peace. Came from the bottom, that's foreign. I swear that I'm up for the sun in the morning. Oof, hey, I got a flex. I need a Nike bag, give me the check. I need the money and power, respect. But I promise I'm repping the oak to the dead. Hey, oof, I sold them out of my way. I don't got nothing to say. Now they can't run in my